All right, get your hard hat, get your boots ready. We're taking a trip into a 19th century mine with News 12 photojournalist Mike Roberts, who's taking us to the Sterling Hill Mining Museum in Ogdensburg. We're in the Wallkill Valley. Jersey does have a long mining history. We have a lot of rare minerals that are found no place else on Earth. This mine is one of two zinc mines, the world's richest zinc deposit. You can see the different colors here. Um, that's the white marble of the footwall. That is ore. And zinc is used mainly for galvanizing steel. The area was consolidated under the New Jersey zinc name. And once New Jersey took over as a corporation, then they had the backing, they had the coordination, they had the focus on doing real mining here. And that was in the late 1800s. They shut down in 1986. 48 years ago, I walked through these doors for the first time. It was kind of like a cartoon experience with all the little trains and the ladder ways and uh, you drilling a hole in a rock and loading it with explosives and blowing it up. I mean, it was, it was fun. Best job I ever had, really. Fire in the hole. There's still a million tons of ore left underground. If you were to go all the way down vertically, you'd be down around 2,500 feet. So you're talking a half a mile, basically. The rock here is marble. This is stronger than concrete. 35 miles of tunnels, it was years, years and years of work. What, what gives me a thrill is when I turn the lights off in the mine and the kids go wild. They see these rocks glowing. We're really unique in the world that we have 96 different fluorescent minerals in our locality here. And 66 of them aren't found anywhere else in the world. We've expanded our route, and we do not bring people down per se. We do have a ramp that goes down to the water table. That's our ore there, that dark stuff there. This is the hanging wall, the white marble. You'll get the feeling that you're in a real mine because we have 100 feet of rock over our head basically at all times. It's just a way to see nature, get into nature going into the mine. This sparked my love of science, and we hope to do that with the kids that come here. And this is the crown jewel of geology of New Jersey. It's actually one of the crown jewels of geology on the planet.